Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Skull Moon video. Another one. Another one. That's right, we're back at it again, and today we're going over the Mons Meg 3. How good is this weapon? Well, today we're going to find out right here, right now. There you go! Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. But before we do, if you're looking for cheap skull and bone, silver items, and more, you can head over to u4gm.com and use the code CARPO to get 5% off. So thanks to our sponsor today. Now, the Mons Meg 3, you can pick it up for 2800 the blueprint and it is pretty nice. Today we're gonna to be testing this out and see how good this weapon really is. It comes with three really cool perks. The first perk is Siege, increases damage to structure by 50%. Explosive one, add 10% damage of explosive damage in a 30 meter radius and piercing one, add 10% of damage as piercing damage and increase damage to weak point by 50%. Now, as far as the things that you need to craft it, here it is right here. You will need that Orca mechanism as well. So yeah, might have to do a little bit of farming for that, but it's all good and it's definitely worth it. So let's craft this Mon Max 3 and see how good this weapon really is. Now, before we do this testing, there are some things I wanna point out. I do have the La Potencia schematics on this bad boy. So I am getting 10% extra damage to weak points and also I have on the starboard and the port side powder kegs to increase damage by 10% all right now let's do some testing now we're going to be testing out this I put it on my port side so well, here we go I did a little bit of a gold run just to attract some enemies and well this is the ship that they brought out a little bit tanky, but that is good for us because we're going to be doing some testing. As far as the numbers are concerned, when you don't hit the weak points, you're getting a little bit of over 3 Gs. When you do hit the weak points, you're getting upwards of 5,000. And sometimes I got even over 6,000 as far as damage is concerned when it comes to weak points. Now, as far as just taking out enemy ships and the raw damage that you get and the overall feel of the weapon, it feels really good and it feels really powerful. It's just this ship is a little bit tanky, but as you are about to see, when some of the other ships come around, they sink pretty freaking fast. So yeah, it's a really good weapon. At long range, it still does some pretty good damage, although you won't be really hitting the weak points. The damage is actually still really good, even with splash damage, even if you don't hit your target. So. It's a really good weapon, and I'm glad I decided to use it. I like it definitely over my fire bombards. Now, the fire bombards would be nice if we had a higher version of them, but right now, this weapon is really, really good, and I'm having a good time with it. So, it's definitely worth the go, and it's definitely worth giving it a try. It may not be exactly what you want as far as your build, as far as the perks are concerned. The explosive damage is good. The piercing damage, the extra weak point damage is good. So, you know, not bad, not bad at all. I give it an 8 out of 10. It's definitely a really good weapon in skulls and bones. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Now, as always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here on Carpool Game. We'll upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.